Hey, hey, what's up, my friend? So in today's episode, I want to talk about what does it take to become a consistently profitable trader? Because here's the thing, right? Anybody can be a pro- profitable trader. You could make, you know, 50% in a given month. You could make $500 a day. In a short run, anybody, any Tom, Dick, Harry, Sally, Mary can make money in the markets. So now the question is, what does it take to be a consistently profitable trader? Because there is a huge difference being a profitable trader and a consistently profitable trader. So number one, you must have an edge in the markets. So what do I mean by having an edge? Because here's the thing, right? Even without an edge, in a short run, you could actually be a profitable trader. For example, if you go down to the nearest casino, you know that the house, right, always have an edge over the players. It is statistically proven, right, that the casino have the uh, odds with them. But you can go down to a casino for a day, a week, you might actually come out net profitable, even though you're trading without an edge. And it's the same for trading. So if you want to be consistently profitable in the long run, then you must have an edge in the markets, just like the casino. In the long run, they make money because they have an edge over the players. So an edge, right, is simply expectancy, right? Give you layman term, right? An example is, let's say you have a coin. Every time it comes up hit, you make $2. Every time it comes up till, you lose a dollar. So clearly that coin toss, right? You have an edge in that coin toss. It gives you a positive expectancy. So that is what I mean by having an edge. Number two, you must know what consistency means. So many traders, right? You know, me included, when I first started in trading, I thought, you know, being a consistent trader, it means, you know, you've got to make money every day, every week. And I realized that that isn't the reality. There isn't a one size fits all because consistency depends on one very important factor, and that is your frequency of trades. How often can you trade within that specific period of time? Again, let me give you an example. Let's say that same coin toss, all right? Every time it comes up hit, you make $2. Every time it comes up till, you lose a dollar. Let's say you can only toss that coin once a day. Now, let me ask you, what are the odds of you making money every single day from that coin toss? I'm sure you'll agree that some days you'll make money, some days you'll lose money. But in the long run, you will make money. But when we are talking about consistency, making money every day from that coin toss, you'll agree that you won't make money every day because you can only toss the coin once per day. But what if you can now toss that coin a thousand times a day? Now, what are the odds of you making money every single day? Now, I'm sure you can see that the dynamics have shifted, right? Now, the odds of you making money every single day if you can toss that coin a thousand times a day is dramatically higher. I think you would make money on almost every day. I won't say 100%, but 99.9999%, right? You will make money on most days. So can you see the difference that you might have similar expectancy for your trading system, but your frequency of trades is what determines how consistent you will be as a trader. So you got to manage the expectations. So if you are a trader that takes you know, one trade a day, then clearly you don't expect to make money every day. If you are a trader that takes, you know, one trade a week, then clearly you need even more time, right, for your age to play out. So a very rough general guideline is this. If you can take 100 trades, uh, let's say within a a month, then generally you can make money on most months. If you can take 100 trades, right, assuming that you have a age in the markets, assuming that your trading system has a positive expectancy, if you can take 100 trades, let's say within uh, every six months, then generally every six months, right, you will make money. And again, if you can take 100 trades, let's say every year, generally on most years, you will make money. Okay, so manage your expectations, right? Consistency is not what you think. Moving on, number three. Being a consistently profitable trader is also about handling your drawdown, right? Here's the thing, right? No trading strategy, no trading system, no whatsoever out there works all the time. Why is that? Because the market changes all the time. The market is not static. It goes up, it goes down, it goes into a range, a low volatility environment, etc. And this means, right, that whatever trading system that you're using, it will have winning periods and losing periods. No doubt about it. So the key here is how do you handle the losing periods? How do you handle your drawdown? So this largely depends on your trading methodology. For systems trader, what you can do is... uh, you can use a filter, right, to know when to stay in the markets and when to stay out of the markets. For example, let's say you trade stocks and, you know, you usually make money in a bull market. In a bear market, you don't make money. So 
how you can actually handle the drawdown is that maybe let's say if the market is in a bear market in a recession you stay out of your trade you stop trading the system that's one way for discretionary trader maybe you're a price action trader how do you handle the drawdown well one way is to understand how the market conditions have changed and how can you adapt your trading strategy accordingly let's say you know previously you are making money you know buying uptrend now the market has changed right you seem to be losing money whenever you're buying the dips maybe you might have to pause reassess and consider you know selling into rallies maybe the market condition has shifted to a downtrend so that's where discretionary trader gotta adjust their trading methodology so this is how you handle your drawdown right and what you know consistent traders they would you know definitely be prepared for and finally number four consistently profitable trader they understand and they embrace that anything can happen in the markets any professional traders will agree with that statement. It's only new traders, right, who are cocksure that of their trading opportunity, of their trading setup, and that's where they go all in. And when you go all in, and when something doesn't happen the way you expect it, that's where you lose everything and more. So consistently profitable trader, they know anything can happen, no matter how good a trading setup looks, no matter how good the pattern looks, how accurate the system is, they know that there's always, always a possibility of them losing money. There's always a possibility of them, you know, losing more than intended. That's why they always respect the markets. They have proper risk management because anything can happen in the markets. Okay, so with that said, right, I would say these are the four critical things, right, on what it takes to become a consistently profitable trader. Number one, having an edge. Number two, right, knowing what consistency means. Number three, able to handle drawdown. And number four, knowing that anything can happen in the markets. So with that said, I've come towards the end of today's episode and I will talk to you soon.